Today on Live at 3, the alleged lion that's roaming around Milwaukee still hasn't been caught. Milwaukee police were out searching for the Milwaukee lion again this morning in Washington Park after, after possible sightings there. And our Tom Murray is live in Washington Park with the latest on this search. Tom? And Courtney and Charles, just a few minutes ago, we spoke with a Milwaukee man who called 911 on his way to work early this morning. As you mentioned, his 911 call prompted, was credible enough to prompt this search of Washington Park, a big park here on the city's north side. So this four second clip of cell phone video is probably the most watched video clip in the city this week. We showed the video to a wild animal expert today and he says there are characteristics of an African lion or a mountain lion and there's a big difference. Mountain lions are native to Wisconsin. There was a search here in Washington Park this morning. We saw officers on motorcycles, on bicycles as well as on foot. This is a busy park. Lots of people out enjoying the day. No exotic cat has been captured by police or the DNR so far. We asked the animal expert if we should be afraid. Well, if we can confirm that it's an African lion, then we absolutely should. Because African lions really are one of only about five animals on earth that are habituated to, to uh, perceiving human beings as being food or a prey item, whereas uh, our native cougar or mountain lion uh, does not consider man to be a prey. And this is interesting. Our animal expert telling us that uh, a good way to tell the difference, African lions uh, have a, a dark a tuft at the end of their tail, most of the African lions, whereas uh, uh, cougars or mountain lions would have a white tip to their tail. On the video, it appears that this uh, exotic cat has a white tip on its tail, but nothing is conclusive at this point. So we're keeping our eye out here on Washington Park. We'll bring you updates as they become available. Uh, Live on the I'm, city's north side, Tom Murray, today's TMJ4. I hope I'm not close enough to tell the difference. Yeah, Tom, just a question there, because I don't know if I'd have time to look at the tail because I'd be running so fast. So well, if I don't you, think you ever want to run away from a lion. Well, what are you going to do? Or, uh, what do they say you should do? Okay, so what do you do if you see the lion? Right. We, we asked about that. We asked, do you run or what do you, do you stand still? And Jay Crispy, great Jay Christie, our animal expert, said the best thing to do is to gather whoever's with you and walk very slowly backwards facing the animal because these cats are less likely to attack if they see your face. If you turn around and they see the back of your head, that may be a signal for them to strike. Then, so, then you're like uh, prey, yeah. That's good right. information to know. Walk slowly backwards. Right, just, you know. Look. Okay, Tom Murray, <laughs> thanks. May none of us ever be exactly, in that situation. Yeah. So